I laughed. I laughed when I saw the headline. Mungai Eve is telling all of you, keep my man's name out your mouth. Which is kind of ironic, given she is always <laughs> in our business. How can you tell us, the netizens, not to talk about your drama and speculate about your life when you're always in other people's business, okay? If you're dishing it out, please be prepared for it to come back to you. Now, in a recent interview she was doing, there have been speculations that her man is very arrogant and he's very, you know, very dismissive or likeable, something. Yes. Exactly. Mm. So people, yes, they might like Mungai Eve, but her partner on the other end, mm. they're very cringy about it. And now, this is what, now, uh, during the interview, they're being interviewed together, and the interviewer asked, why do people have such a huge dislike for you being Mungai Eve's partner? And he said, I am not arrogant. Online guys just seem to have their own issues. If I appear on camera, they'll have an issue. The same thing happens when I'm behind the camera. So what did I do? Now to the rescue, Mungai Eve quipped in and said, I am not saying I am not kind, but Trevor is kinder. She added on, Trevor is so kind personally. My character, me, I don't entertain a lot of things. I am normally a no-nonsense person, but him, he is always there listening, so I don't think Trevor akona kiburi. When, you know, they were probed further, she confidently answered, they hate Trevor because he and me are doing well. <laughs> you know, having this beauty and brains. And I was like, <laughs> that, that's kind of interesting. And it's, it's giving the vibe of I would defend my man to all costs. But Mungai Eve, you are very young. And I just like to tell you, girl, you might love your man, but don't defend him in public. Okay? Men will embarrass you unprovoked. Yes, stand by him. You can stick beside him, <laughs> but don't open your mouth and just defend him aimlessly. This, this is a son of Judas, you know, like a descendant of Abraham. Why would you be out here very confidently, you know, telling people, you know, don't talk about my man that way. Yes, it's okay if a man defends you. And, and I'm like that. Maybe it's residual patriarchy that's inside my head or something. But yeah, a man defending you, well and good. But a woman defending her man, that's just sits wrong with me. Because why do you have to, as a man, why do you have to be defended? That's the question here. And it's, it just gives off a very, you know, weird vibe. And even like listening to the interview, I was like, huh, that's kind of suspicious. It, it's just very odd. <clears throat> for you to be defended by your girlfriend. It yeah. will be the other way around. But anyway, be careful, girl. Be careful. <laughs> I don't know what to say with regard to this particular story for, for many reasons, including the fact that, one, Yves Mungai has seemingly become the biggest um, tabloid yeah. gossip, new information, entertainment uh, personality that I would probably know. Mm -hmm. Like every new story we hear is definitely either from her or from one or two other um, platforms. So for that reason, she's doing we commend her. She's doing yeah. a really good job. She's the one who made us um, recant our statements about the the skin tights and and all of that. Yeah. So we f for that reason we thank her and we hope that she keeps giving us gossip regardless of this clearly horrible mistake that she has made in her life yeah you never ever ever mm -mm. ever hmm? did they say Defend ever enough times no never ever put yourself in the business of a man let him handle it himself like the man that he is and this is part of the reason why i keep insisting that people should try especially social media celebrities if your partner is not in the same line of work as you try as much as Don't you can you to them. keep that outside business yeah. outside you know like it's very easy for you to start getting into situations of confrontation like these because you don't know what people are going to take as a perception of your man maybe he wore a shirt people didn't like and now you have to come and defend yourself like <laughs> no actually i'd given him another shirt he just wore that shirt he's an idiot you know like don't do it unless you really feel the need to show off your man don't do it exactly because then 
you have to get to a point where you're supporting him and supporting yourself, defending him and defending yourself. And even worse, what if people turn around and hate you? They already hate him. Exactly. So you have no defense. Let like, him fight let his, his own man fight his battles. Own man. <laughs> and while you're thinking about how you're going to defend your man, please don't do it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick break. And when we come back, I hope you're going to be sober. <clears throat> don't defend men, okay? Mm -mm. Don't do that. Mm -mm.